Disclaimer, this is all speculation and I don't own any of this copyright. Koya Skitsknatsi, but just listen to it though. They're telling you a story here. There's a story history has told us. There's a story. That we've been fed through history. We, we, we learned about it in school. They show they show, uh, they they show it in the books. We we learned about it. Christopher Columbus. We sang the national anthems of our country. And what did it teach us? We have the history. Look at there's paintings. Are these humans? And that that that's some sort of superhuman. This. Uh, am I supposed to believe the handprints and the buffalo and the bisons and the mammoths on the wall that were painted by cavemen because people told me to? I don't believe much anymore. And it all blows up, incinerates. certain things it's, you can only hold my attention for so long make a point do you have something to say is there something that you're trying to teach do you have any message that you're trying to send what is the point of it all what is really going on are you trying to muddle the water divide and conquer be a narc Sending this immediately up? Look at that. Look at the force of that. Why isn't the fucking rocket flying up immediately? 17,000 miles. Look, it's always flat though. If it, if it's sent, if it, if the, if something is being blasted that fast, constant speed, constant thrust propulsion. The jet's gonna be fucking blasting up. You can't sit there on Earth with that thing going. empirical evidence true people take this as a hundred percent true factual actual empirical evidence of history Apollo missions look they think that this is rocket travel this is thrust propulsion look at this look at it Cut camera.
at some point you're going to realize all of my research has came to a point. I'm going up the staircase of disbelief. I'm going up the stairway to heaven. And no matter what you do, if you took that first step, you are going to reach level 100. You are going to reach step 100. And a lot of things are going to be broken down along the way. A lot of paradigms are going to be destroyed along the way. And one of them is realizing that the Apollo space missions are completely hoax. And once you can look at it with a, can a Stanley Kubrick eye, it all explodes in front of your face. And everyone watched that. Our parents watched it. Antonio. We all, you watched that. I didn't watch it. I'm sure you did though. And those people died, right? And they all died. What a waste, what a sacrifice, what a great mission. But it's a, it's a psyop, it's a hoax. It's a false flag, it's psychological warfare. They're all still alive, no one died. So, I want to thank the listeners. Always put my videos to 1.25 speed. You can blast through all my fucking 100 plus videos. Thank my uh, new subscribers. Got a lot of them coming. I hope to get to reach a thousand soon. I've uh, got 200 over the past uh, month. I hope to get 300 over the next month. Or more. I don't give a hell. It's fun. I like when people listen and pay attention. I have a lot to say, and I'm going to keep uh, sharing my experiences with you all. It's still falling, folks. It all comes crumbling down. All of our beliefs, all of our paradigms. Once you reach a certain step on the stairway to heaven, it all comes crumbling down. But like the phoenix that rises from the ashes, which is what you represent, that's what you'll do. You'll rise from the ashes. You burn yourself down. You burnt yourself. You incinerated your own ego. Turned yourself into nothing. Studied yourself. Studied your own psychology. And so now we can finally take the final step. The ultimate reality. In which we all possess. We all have a peace. We all are a peace. We all are the ultimate reality. We just gotta slow down. Just a tiny bit. And realize, is this real? Is Apollo missions real? Are all these caveman stories and the mammoth and saber tooth and the artwork and the hieroglyphs, glyphs, Egyptian mythology, is this real? No one knows. Unless you just believe it blindly. Then you know that it's true. If you believe it blindly. I choose not to believe it. And I hope you don't you all do your own individual research, and I know you all do, and that's why I'll lo I love you all. So thanks for paying attention. Sub to the subgenius.